Hi everyone, my name is Daniel McFadden and I'm the Director of Customer Support at PAR. Here at PAR, we're committed to doing everything we can to help you assist your clients. With the evolving situation around COVID-19, we've heard from many of you that you need methods to do testing remotely. In situations where no proctoring is necessary, the PARI Connect platform already allows for emailing assessment links directly to clients. For assessments where a proctor is necessary, this video demonstrates how you can use a tool like Zoom to remotely proctor any of the rating scales currently available on PARI Connect. For this demo, we'll show you how to use the on screen administration feature within PARI Connect in conjunction with the video sharing platform called Zoom. There are several similar video sharing tools available. For this demo, we are using the free version of Zoom, but please note that PAR is not affiliated with Zoom in any way. Although Zoom does offer a paid version that is HIPAA compliant, the free version is not. As always, your professional judgment, along with state, local, and other regulatory agencies, should determine whether or not you use this or any technology as part of your practice and if this mode of administration is appropriate or not for your particular client. Let's get started. The client is going to need a computer, laptop, or desktop with a webcam. This allows you to see that only the client and other appropriate individuals are present and that the testing environment is acceptable. Note that if the client only has a smartphone, you could use it to verify their identity and testing environment but we don't recommend any test administration take place on a smartphone. Launch the app, in this case Zoom, and start the meeting. You can do this simply by clicking on the New Meeting button, or you can schedule it in advance. When prompted, click on the Join Computer Audio. If you're on a desktop computer, you'll likely need to use some headphones with a mic integrated, or you can get a separate computer microphone and use your computer speakers. If you're on a laptop that comes with a camera, you can still use headphones if you want, or you can just use the built-in mic and camera. It's definitely a good idea to test it out with a friend or family member first, plus they'd probably enjoy hearing from you. Next, you're gonna click on the Invite button. You can use the built-in email services to send it to the client, but I think it's simpler to just click the Copy URL button. Type up your notes and include whatever information the client will need. And then send that link to the client. I would definitely try to include something in the email title that helps the client recognize that the email is from you. When the client joins, it will ask them to enter their name and hit OK. On most laptops with cameras, it will simply ask them to join with video. So have them hit yes. For the purpose of this demo, my friend and colleague, Erica Thompson, manager of our creative and communications department is helping us out. Hi, Erica, how are you? I'm doing great. All right, now you may wish to have the client minimize the video while taking the assessment in order to limit distractions. Note that even if the video is minimized on the client side, you can still see them. Next, open up a PAR iConnect window using a web browser. Log in, go to the Assess screen, select the Client and Assessment, and choose the Administer On Screen option for administration. I recommend doing this in advance and choosing the Save for Later option so you can simply click Continue from the Pending Assessment screen. Once you are on the You Are About to Begin screen, switch over to Zoom and select Share. The important thing here is to not choose the default option, which will share your entire screen, but rather choose the web browser window that has the PAR iConnect administration up, then click Share. Next, you're going to go up to the top menu again, click on the Remote Control button and select the client's name. This will give the client the ability to respond to the questions on screen. Using this method, 
they can only see the web browser you've selected. When the client has finished the assessment, or if something comes up and you need to take control away from the client, go back to the interface, select remote control, and then select abort control. When you're all done, click on the stop share button, do whatever wrap up you need to do with the client, and when you're ready, click the end meeting button in the bottom right corner. Then return to the Pari Connect window, log back in and generate your report. And that's it. It's worth noting that it's completely free to register for Par iConnect. Par iConnect does not require any specific hardware other than internet access and a current modern web browser. We do not charge annual subscription fees, yearly licensing fees, or per user fees. When you try Par iConnect, you will receive three free administrations and reports just for signing up. If you'd like more info about using the Par iConnect platform itself, we do have a pre-recorded webinar available on our website. We'd also love to hear from you about what other challenges you're facing and anything we can do to help. If there are other videos or walkthroughs you'd like to see, please let us know by emailing us at cs at parinc.com or giving us a call at 800-331-8378. Thank you for your time, be safe, and take care of each other.